What's good guys, if you guys want the most cheap and most reliable EAFC24 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com on making that team better. Also, if you guys ever want to make a purchase, make sure you guys use the code DAN to get 6% off on making that team better. If you guys ever want to sell your EAFC24 coins, go to the same website and go to the selling section as well. Yo YouTube, what's going on and welcome to another video to the channel y'all boys and today we're going to go ahead and review 96 rated team of the year Sam Kerr. We're looking at a card 5-6, high high work rates, 4 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot with the right foot, acceleration type is controlled, 92 pace, 94 shooting, 84 passing, 96 dribbling, 92 physicality as well, play styles that the card comes with, finesse on a basic power header on plus, rapid on plus, quick step, acrobatic and aerial as well now there's a couple camp styles you could give this card i went ahead and gave her the engine chemistry style acceleration goes up to 97 sprint speed 95 passing goes up to the high 90s agility and dribbling gets maxed out in the dribbling category balance goes up to 95 she has 96 strength which is quite interesting you guys know how i feel about females in efc 24 with their body type we're gonna have to see if her body type is similar to like team of the year hassan where she doesn't really get body off the ball that easily. You don't need to touch the shooting, in my opinion. 98 finishing, 98 type positioning with five star weak foot should be pretty consistent, in my opinion. Mrs. Kerr is gonna be playing with this team right here. We're gonna be playing her in the 4 3 2 1, and she's gonna be playing as a solo striker right in front of that Frank Ribery. Now, by the time I'm recording this video on Saturday, obviously, she's around 1.3 to 1.4 million coins, which, in my opinion, is kind of cheap. For a team of the year attacker, obviously not a lot of people have over a million coins at this stage of the game, but still, you got a lot of team of the year players like 5, 7, 10 mil, and they're extinct. But Sam Kerr is slightly over 1 million coins. Some people are saying she's better than Eusebio. Some people are saying she's the best striker in the game that doesn't have 5 star skill moves. We're going to have to see. We're going to play some foot champs, and hopefully she cooks up for us. All right, here we go. Game number one versus five Esquinas. Let's see what type of team he's rocking. Hopefully, it's a sweaty team. Backline is pretty solid. Midfield is okay. Attack is, it's whatever. You know, Di Natale is not really that good still, but it's not a bad team. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That pace looking pretty nice so far. I'm not going to lie. Damn, I tried to shot cancel that. I don't know why I didn't register. She's wide open. Great finish that time. Let's go, let's go. Nice. Great playmaking from the card. Good assist from her. Great finish. Nice. She feels kind of weird with her left stick dribbling. Like, it's not clunky. But it's not, like, as quick as, like, the other females. I don't know how to explain it. Nice. That time she looked pretty quick. I'm not going to lie. Oof, that was nice. That quick left stick turning was actually really nice and a good finish as well. Way too easy. Oof, great finish right there. Good try. Great finish right there. Nice little Travella style. I'm not going to lie, I think it's the gameplay because her left stick dribbling this game is feeling pretty clean. I think it has something to do with the gameplay in different games. So I'm lucky on that miss. Nice, good goal right there. 
Good finish inside the box. Great composure from Miss Kerr. Nice. Good play right there. Beautiful composure from Miss Kerr. Things you love to see. Nice. Great composure to keep onto the ball and a good finish right there. Nice. Nice and easy ball roll. Glide past Marquinhos and a good finish right there. Oh, this guy messed up. <laughs> nice and easy. That's probably going to be a rage quit. Good goal right there. Nice dribbling. All right, boys, and that concludes the player review for Team of the Year, Sam Kerr. Coming around 1.3 million coins on the market, 1.4, give or take, on the PC market. Put eight games with the card, 14 goals, and two assists as a striker in a 4-3-2-1 formation. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the cheapest Team of the Year attacker at the moment. I'm not exactly sure if... Kerr is cheaper or if it's Smith. I, I believe it's Kerr. I don't want to change the name. I don't want to change the car because that's going to glitch my recording at the moment. But with Kerr, um, some things I liked about the card and obviously some things that felt a little lackluster, a little bit left to be desired. I'm not going to lie. Definitely Sam Kerr is one of the weaker team of the year when it comes to the quality of the card. She's still an amazing card. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying she's a bad card. But let's get into it. So pros obviously is that she has five star weak foot. That's a fat W able to score pretty consistently with either foot high high work rates for those of you guys that like high high work rates. Some people don't like high high work rates. They prefer high low work rates. I think high high work rates work just as fine with this card. Pace is really really good. We give her the engine chemistry style. Felt pretty good with the step overs R1 slash RB dribbling. Felt okay at times and that's something that was a little bit questionable with this card and i think it has a lot to do with the gameplay i don't think it's the card i think it's the gameplay multiple times in certain instances in some games there will be some plays where kerr feels absolutely clean on the ball and then there would be other plays where kerr i wouldn't say necessarily feels clunky but she didn't get that initial boost from what i expected or what she showed in other plays it's kind of hard to explain and if you've been playing weekend league for the past two days and you guys have experienced the dog shit gameplay you guys will know what i'm talking about kerr sometimes has some you know bright moments when it comes to the dribbling and sometimes it's just like is this feels kind of delayed not as quick as what i expect from a team of the year card that's just what i got out of the card but i think that has mostly to do with the gameplay i don't think it's the card i don't think it's a her issue I think it's just EA and their dog shit servers. Passing is really nice as well. 89 short pass, 90 vision. This card can definitely play make with the striker spot or if you want to play as a cam as well. Now, a con from the card and it's pretty expected because she has 5'6", is her physicality. She's going to get bodied off the ball super easily, you know? And I believe this is all with all females except for Team of the Year Hassan because her body type is for some reason different than the other females. And she's 5'10". Like I said, Sam Kerr is 5'6". She has 96 strength and 77 aggression. But still, that's not going to help her out with her height and her body type. So physicality for me, a little bit of a con with the card. Stamina is nice. 94 stamina. She's going to last you the whole game, no matter if you play her centrally or down the wing. She had some pretty good play styles as well, with one of them being rapid on plus and quick step on basic. She does have power header on plus, which is quite funny uh, i don't know why they gave her power header on plus i would have preferred like a with pass on plus or power shot on plus or finesse shot on plus but i guess power header works but 1000 percent the best aspect from kerr is the finishing 98 finishing her offensive ai the attack position is absolutely a1 as well she's always at the right spot at the right moment it makes our life so much easier whenever we are creating dangerous opportunities with the card she's always there i can always count on a dangerous chance with this card so like i said before uh, a little bit disappointed with the card on because my expectations with these team of the year cards are really really high she's not a bad card 
but definitely one of the weaker ones compared to like players like Mbappe, Haaland, Messi, and those type of cards. So she's going to get a thumbs up for me, obviously, for being super meta. And rating-wise for Team of the Year, Sam Kerr, she's going to get a fatty 8.5 out of 10. Now, that might be a little controversial for some people, but like I said, it's just my opinion. So you guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about Team of the Year, Sam Kerr. You guys think she's absolutely amazing? Or do you guys feel like she's one of the weaker ones compared to the other Team of the Year attackers? Next videos I'm going to be dropping is going to be Messi, Smith, and then we're done with attackers, and then we're going straight into midfielders. So until next time, it's been your boy Dan Fifa, and I am out. Bye-bye.